Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, people, let me pull up the attendance list for tonight, okay? Present teacher. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take the attendance now. <laughs> es que siempre se me pasa, se me traba este volado, entonces mejor ahorita. Ah, <laughs> yes, you're the first one, right. Carlos Alberto okay, Martinez, okay. yes. Okay. Claudia Maria Garcia. Claudia Maria. I'm here. David Alonso Mejia. Present. Okay, welcome. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Okay. Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Isaura Evelia Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Okay. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Okay. Natalie Rebecca Peña. Present. Okay. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Odir Omar Soria, Soriano. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present teacher. Okay. Rebeca Jonel Hernández. Renato Salvador Ramírez. René Giovanni Martínez. Ruth Marielo Samaya. Present. Okay. Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present. Okay. And Silvia Tatiana Acosta. Okay. 
Okay, quick review. Claudia Maria Garcia. Esaú Ismael. Evelyn Janet. Francisco. Present Alex teacher. Evelyn. Present. Evelyn, sí. Francisco Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Odir Omar. Rebecca Jonel. Present teacher. Odir, okay, okay. Renato Salvador, René Giovanni, Silvia Tatiana. Okay, people, two reminders. I know uh, we bother you in, with this, but anyways, I have to remind you. Two things, cameras on and your full name in Zoom. Okay, two requirements from Insofor. Your full name and cameras on. Okay, I told you. Uh, now let's work on our manual. Well, um, I want to show you a video that we have here in the platform about the topic uh, we are going to, to study tonight, okay? So let me prepare the video, here it is, and share the screen to show you this, okay? Share sound as well. Okay, take a look to this video. Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding! Well, that must have been some vacation. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Okay, so look at this conversation between Pete and Gina in this uh, kind of question. Yeah. 
what have you been doing? What have you what have you been doing? Okay. Look. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated. But I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. So look at these uh, structures. What have you been doing lately? I've been working. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. Um, I've only been spending money. How long have you been modeling? I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon, okay. So, this structure is what we uh, want to practice uh, in, in in this session, okay? A little bit in this session. So, Let's practice a conversation together, okay? Repeat after me. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. Hey, Gina, hey, Gina. Gina. I, haven't I haven't seen, seen you, you in ages. What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing, been doing lately? lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. Nothing, Nothing exciting. exciting. Being working, 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 working for, jobs jobs for, jobs for the last, last six months. months. How come? How, How come? come? How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. I'm saving, I'm saving up, money up money for a trip, trip, trip to Morocco. Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Well, well that's, that's exciting. exciting. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Yeah, yeah it is. What about you? you? What about you? Well, I've been only... Be, uh, I'm sorry. Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Well, well I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. <laughs> Really? How long have you been modeling? Really? really? How long have you been modeling? modeling? Since I graduated, since I graduated, since but I haven't I, been getting any work. Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need of to money. do some. Okay, I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. I need a job soon. I need a job soon. I am most money. of money. Most okay. of, of the money. Hi. Okay, <laughs> very good. Let me see. I have some messages here. Okay. All right. Very good. Let me see. So this is what we call the present perfect continuous. The present perfect continuous. 
So let me show you this other video about this structure, okay? The present perfect continuous. Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of this tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of this tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing.
Richard, your microphone. Thank you for telling me. Okay, one more time. So this is the structure for present perfect continuous. First, the subject, then have been when the subject is I, we, you, or they. When the subject is he, she, or it, we are going to use has been. Okay? I was saying I have been, we have been, you have been, they have been. He has been, she has been, it has been. And after that, we are going to use the verb in ing form. Okay? In ing form. In both cases, okay? For example, we have been working. You see, this is the structure. We, subject, have been working. This is a compliment. He has been painting. Subject has been ing form. This is the compliment. Oops. This is the compliment. Okay. So this is the affirmative form. Now, let's continue. Let's continue watching to the negative form. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the help has and been. Okay, the negative form, we only add not. Okay, between have been or has and been. Yeah. For example, if this is negative, that would be we have not been working or we haven't been working. He has not been painting or he hasn't been painting. Okay. So we only add the particle not. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Okay. And for questions, we always start with the auxiliary, which in this case could be have or has, depending on the subject. Right? Have or has, then the subject. Then being, and then the verb in ing form. Of course, plus a complement. Have you, the subject, been, the verb be, saving the ing form, the verb in the ing form? Have you been saving? money lately. This is the compliment. Okay. Have plus subject plus bin plus verb plus ing plus compliment. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Okay, so let's work on this sentence and these questions, okay? Um, make an, an answer for each question. How long have you been learning English? I have been learning English for two years or six months, I don't know, okay, write an answer. Why are you tired? Or if, if you are not tired, 
worry. So just write, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? Well, I have been uh, watching TV. I have been uh, working. I have been studying. I have been reading a book, whatever, okay? What have you been eating? I have been eating. Da, 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 da. So respond those questions, please. I will send the screenshot to WhatsApp. Okay. There you have. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me ask some of you. Um, let me start with uh, Francisco. Francisco, how would you respond to the first question? How long have you been learning English? I, I have been... Uh... Two years learning English. Okay, maybe the order just a little bit. I have been learning English. I have for... learning English for two years. For two years, okay. Usually these time expressions go at the end of the sentence. Okay. Okay, I have been learning English for two years. Okay, good. What about you? Um David, how long have you been learning English? I have been learning English for three years. Okay, very good. Um, the second question, let me ask to Jacqueline. Why are, what, what have you been doing? Hey, Jacqueline, 
left. <laughs> no, if I ask you a question, don't go. No, something may have happened. Okay, what about uh, Glendy? What have you been doing? Today I have been taking care of my nephew. Okay, good. Uh, what about you? Uh, Ruth, what have you been doing? Uh, let's see, Rene, what have you been doing? Carlos, what have you been doing? Hey, where did you go, guys? We are in class. Okay. Evelyn, what have you been doing? Um, I have been doing um learning English online. Okay, you don't need to say doing again. It is okay. I have been learning English. I have okay. been learning, learning English. 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 Okay. English. Okay. Okay, let's see, people. We have an exercise here. Let me show you. Look at this uh, question. Okay. Look at this. Uh, if you, we can practice with this. Okay. Have you been working out lately? Yeah. Have you been learning a hobby lately? Have you been working long hours lately? Have you been taking driving lessons lately? Etc. Okay. And how can you respond to that? Well, for example, have you been working out lately? Yes, I have. I've been going to the gym or to a gym. And you can continue with the conversation. Really, what kind of exercise do you do there? I usually take aerobic classes, but sometimes I swim. Um, it's, a, it's a way to continue with the conversation, okay? But if not, you can only practice ask, uh, asking and responding. For example, have you been uh, reading any interesting books lately? You can respond with real information or using your imagination, okay? Making up any answer. Oh, yes, I have. I have been reading uh, Harry Potter books, for example. Have you been doing, uh, have you been traveling lately? Have you been traveling lately? Oh, uh, yes, I have. I have been traveling to uh, Guatemala. Yeah. Uh, so you can respond whatever you want, okay? So I want you to practice with these questions and answers, questions and answers in your in groups. So I will send you to working groups. Use these to make questions, I will send uh, send these to WhatsApp. And you can use the second part to have an idea about how to respond. Okay, this is what we need, the questions. So remember, these are the the questions 
this is just a model on about the way you can respond. So let me send that to WhatsApp. You have it there. And I will send you to working groups. I hope all those who are with camera off are in class. Because I'm going to send you to working groups with a classmate with different classmates, okay? And I, I don't want you to leave them alone. Okay, people join the breakout rooms and practice with the questions and giving your real or imaginary answers. Go to the groups, please.
Okay, people, let's practice. Let's see. Um, let me start with Saul. Hi, Saul. I will ask you a question to start. Okay, so. You can respond anything. Okay. Uh, have you been learning a new hobby lately? Have you been learning a new hobby lately? I have been work. I have been learning a new hobby, in, like my place playing. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I have been learning. A hobby. What uh, what my, hobby? It's my PlayStation. Oh. Yeah. You have been learning uh to play with your PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. Video <laughs> video game. Ah okay. video game, yeah. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, Saul, choose another classmate and ask one question to him or her. Um, Glendy Flores Ramirez. Okay. Ask her a question. Have you been lately working no hours? Have you been? Remember that this section, so this part goes here in the middle yeah okay have you been learning a new hobby lately no you can ask this so you you ask this okay have you been working long hours lately okay um, no i haven't okay very good. Continue, Glendy. Ask one question to another classmate. Um, is Aura? Had you been taking driving lessons lately? I have been taking driving lesson for the uh, one year. For one year? Yes. Okay. Can you drive now? <laughs> I'm a scar. <laughs> <It's car. laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. I will try drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I understand. The traffic here, the drivers here right, are crazy. Yes. <laughs> okay, continue, Isaura. Ask any other question to another classmate. Okay. Uh, Odir. Okay. Have you been reading any interesting book lately? Dear. Oh, dear. There will look. No, I never read the books. You never read books? No. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I like to read the books. Okay, okay. Remember, uh, people, that this 
it's like a yes, no question, okay? So first, you have to respond, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then you can explain, okay? Okay. For example, have you been uh, working long hours lately? No, I haven't. And if you want, you can explain. I have been working until five every day. Or have you been learning a new hobby? Yes, I have. I have been uh, learning to, um, to swim. Okay, or I have been learning uh, chess. Okay, but first, Respond with a short answer. Yes, I have or, or no, I haven't. Okay. To practice, to practice. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Odir, continue with another classmate. Ask another question. Your microphone, Odir. Okay. And how are you being? Uh, how are you being lately? and doing anything um unusual 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 traveling no it's only this remember this part oh. goes here okay can you repeat uh, the who is your question for Okay, how have you been um, doing anything unusual lately? Lately? Lately traveling? No, don't say traveling. Traveling is another question. Ah, okay. But who are who are you asking? Okay, um, have you been... Um... Okay, wait, wait, Odir, listen. Ask a question to another classmate. Choose another classmate first. Um, Evelyn Janet. Okay, Evelyn. Now repeat okay. the question, Odir. Okay, <laughs> and have you been um, doing any anything... And um, usually, uh, no, I haven't. Okay, okay, Evelyn, continue with another mm -hmm. classmate. Okay, eh, veamos, quiero ver. Uh, uh, quiero ver. Uh, David Ay, Alonso. Okay. Okay. Este, how have you been traveling late, lately? <laughs> yes, I have. I've been traveling to uh, around Central America. Okay. Very good. Okay. Continue, David. Okay. I, I will choose. Um, Nubia Cristina. Okay, Nubia. Are okay. You... Uh, Let's see if Nubia uh, is available. Nubia, are you there? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, David. Have you been dating someone new lately? Hmm. No, I haven't. Uh, just the same person? Oh, no, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, Nubia, continue with another classmate. Okay, let's erase this. <clears throat> you can ask any question. You don't have to, to go in order. Nubia, choose another classmate. Um, Ruth, 
Ruth, Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. Are you are you there, Ruth? No, she's not here. Isabel. Oh, Isabel. Good evening. Okay. Where are you? There she is. Okay, ask your question, Nubia. Okay, have you been working long hours? <laughs> Late, mm. Lately? No, I I don't have working late, but I I am studying late. Okay. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Working late. Okay. Well, the, this should be no. I haven't been working long hours or working late, but I have been studying late okay okay and we are going to stop here it's 1002 you can practice by yourself okay uh, just this word lately lately okay very good Okay, people, let's stop here. We'll continue tomorrow with another topic. Have a good night. Take, take care. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. Thank bye you. Bye. You're welcome.